Bartlett emailed me today about that specifically. Well, we'll have to get him on a headset. I mean, he said that would that'd be fine. I don't know. I'm just telling you, what Mr. Bartlett said. Good afternoon and welcome to Seidel Field on the campus of St. Sebastian School. <coughs> Die 5 Video Productions is proud to present Arrows Baseball. Today, the Arrows host the Lions of St. Mark's. I'm John Galvin along with the voice of St. Sebastian's, Jack Knight. Jack, opening day for us anyway. Uh, looking forward to a good baseball season. Looking forward to a good game today. Looking forward to a great season. The Arrows looking to follow up a spectacular run last year that included a lot of guys you know, all ISL teams. We had guys going to schools like Notre Dame, Northwestern, Villanova, Georgetown among some, and you know, progress. Really today is about progress. Progress from opening day really set the tone for the season. Yeah, that's awesome. You know, we, we missed the game the other day because it was a threat of rain and they had a big win the other day. Um, hopefully they can follow that up today against the Lions. Definitely, and that's gonna be really on the back of our player to watch today, Aiden Barclay. The Cornell baseball commit, also a hockey star in the winter. You know, the combination of his glove and just really his raw hitting power is gonna help push the arrows today, hopefully towards a win. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Looking forward to it. He was fun to watch in hockey, that's for sure. Definitely, and then looking for the Lions of Saints Mark. Oslin Lee, the Notre Dame commit, gets the start today on the bump. He's definitely gonna help dictate this game. Leading off for the Lions, we're gonna have number three, Capello. He's gonna be at short. Then we have the catcher, Max Dushney. Then in right field, Levi De Silva. Then in left, Jeremiah Murphy. The DH today, Nolan Whelan. Grady Bishop at third, Cam Aguilar at center, Connor Moore at first, Hugo Owens at second, and then Lee at pitcher. Pitching for the Arrows today is gonna be the junior Connor Crane, his second start of the year. Foul ball, start off, Crane with a very nice heater. Features a fastball, cutter among others. Dealt with some injuries last year, but now he is fully ready to go. The 0-1 count. 
pitch and fire. Ball high, 1-1 now. Capello, really good eye there to recognize the high pitch. Yeah, you know, I mean, the first one was right in there. That one, it was up there, kind of shot away from it. A little high cheese, kind of back him off the plate a little bit. Oh, blew it by him there. Crane with another really good pitch, one and two. One, two now, Crane versus Capello. First batter of the day. Ball just a bit low. Two, two now. We'll see, maybe does he go right back to that fastball? He got a foul and he got that swing and a miss there. I expect we'll see some high velo coming up. Ball low again, 2-2. Two, two. Full count now for Crane. He's had some really good stuff. We've seen both guys, this is a really good battle. Fouled off once again, off the backstop. This has been a great series just to start our game off today. Crane and Capello. Yeah, Capello seems to be right on him. Might want to try changing the speeds a little bit. See if he can get him out in front. The 3 2. Just a bit high. And that will be a four pitch walk. So Capello gets on first, and that will bring up the catcher, Max Dushney. This guy can really bring it at the plate. He's got some power, I'm sure, Capello. Takes a lead now. Fires. Just outside. And Ball one. The 1-0 from Crane, Capello at first. Capello extending his lead. He's got some speed, he might be showing it here. Crane with a nice pitch. Down and in for a strike. The 1-1 one, one from Crane. Checks up on Capello, but he's right back in there. Crane fires. Ball just low there, 2-1 now. 1-2, one, one ball, two strikes. Scoreboard, scoreboard showing it for us. Capello may be getting a sign here from his coach. We'll see what happens there. Crane fires. Low, low and outside. You know, Crane's been really good today. He just needs to focus on finding that strike zone, getting it in early. Pitch, checkup gets away from him, and Capello will get to second. Yeah, it was a little, a little low in the rubber and uh, couldn't dig it out. Ground, here, ground rule here with no wall, he only gets second base. So Capello will move into scoring position. Crane on the 2-2. Two -two. Really he's looking for that shutdown close to the inning. Yeah, you want to try to try to close it out without letting him get the bat on the ball to advance the runner. Fouled and out of play. Wow, that ball traveled. <laughs> Crane obviously showing off. He can throw it hard, he can throw it fast. Two 
two, two once again. Capello at second. Foul ball. Once again, another great at bat here. I believe we've seen six pitches now. Crane and Dushney. I wonder if he goes back to the cutter. That got him on the first time. We'll see what he does here. Crane, got him on low the low swing, tip. and he struck him out. Yeah, nice job by the catcher holding on. So one out, and that brings up Levi De Silva. That was a really important win there from Crane. Yeah, you definitely wanted to get him down swinging. But like I said, you don't want him getting the bat on the ball advancing the run of the third. We'll see if he returns more to that high cheese. Goes low again, gets him swinging. 0-1 now. De Silva here standing in. I think you're definitely thinking low. Maybe some off speed, maybe a slurve, maybe, you know, that cutter again. Crane fires. And that's a really good take there. Yeah, that was close. Must a have been a little outside. A close call, but a really good eye. Makes it 1-1. One, one. You know, one thing you can really take from this inning, positive for St. Mark's runner goes. Throw over and that will bring home Capello. And he is safe. So the Lions take a 1-0 lead here in the top of the first inning. One out. Silva now, 2-1. High fly ball. And it is hauled in and caught by Singoli. That'll make it two outs. Coming up to the plate now is Jeremiah Murphy, the left fielder. Crane fires, and a nice low strike there, cut right in. Yeah, he did a nice job. Way out in front, changing speeds there a little bit. Nice job. You know, I never, you know, you never want to think this way, but I think maybe getting that runner off the base path really helps settle Crane. He had the nice pop out there into shallow center and had that really nice cutter right there. The 1-1 one, one here from Crane. And a nice strike there, put beautifully in the zone. Crane's starting to feel it now. Ball, just a tad low. Yeah, went back to that one, you know, that he got him swinging on first pitch. Kind of that. Ch change up or a slow curve. Didn't chase. Will we see a fastball here on 2-1? Okay. He got him, struck him out. And that will end the half inning. 1-0 Lions as we head to the bottom of the first.
Leading off now for the arrows is going to be number one, Luke Ward. Second's going to be the second baseman, Gavin Wainwright. Gallo, the catcher, third. Barclay at cleanup. Singoli, fifth. Dorsey, the right fielder, at sixth. Batting seven is going to be the left fielder, Keller. Justin Bork, the DH today. And Matt Dalto, the shortstop, batting ninth. Oslin Lee pitching for the Lions. Our player to watch today fires in a fa foul ball. One and one. The Notre Dame commit. Low ball hit hard. Caught up by the first baseman Moore and that will make it one out. You know, the one thing you're seeing with Lee, even this early, is he's really driving it, but with a purpose. That ball was low, but it, you know, really looks inside the zone. Got a nice ground ball. It's fired in there for strike one. Lee deals. And a high pitch, one and one now. And a ball smacked now by Wainwright. And it gets down for a hit, Wainwright's going to second. Wainwright goes three, the freshman gets a triple there. Gavin Wainwright, the kid is making an impact. Yeah, and really, it, really drove it down the line, got by the right fielder into the corner, and he was hustling on his way to third. He knew, as soon as he got by the right fielder, he knew he was going for three. He fired that ball, and then just to keep going, getting that triple really helps energize the team. Brings up Barkley now. Strike one now on Barclay. Wainwright at third. Virtually anything into the outfield brings Wainwright home. The 1-1 one, one to Barclay. Ball low again. Lee continuing to go low in the zone. Tight pitches we see maybe mixes up here. Stays low again. Yeah, nice change up there. He was way out in front. Looked like a fastball and then kind of just slurved, curved, whatever you want to call it yeah, I mean, there at the end. You know, that's the, the beauty of that changeup. It looks like the fastball and it just, you know, throws off the timing of the batter. If you can keep it down in the zone like that, it's real huff, tough to lay off of. Pop up. And it's caught by Moore and that will make it two outs now. Yeah, he was just inside the field of play. Nice job by Moore getting over there. I thought that was long, way out of uh, out of play. But the win, actually win coming from, you know, first base dugout out the left field, kept that up a little bit. Not a terrible amount of win, but enough. Ball one. In there for ball one. Nice pitch there for strike yeah, one. Real nice pitch. Two outs now, bottom of the first. The Lions lead one nothing. Wainwright on a third for the Arrows. Brings up a 2-1 count now. Just Ball not. two. And a close call there. Advantage hitter. And a ball driven and it is caught in center field by Aguilar. And the Lions strand Wainwright on third and they will go back up top of the second.
Coming up now for the Lions, Nolan Wheel in the DH. Crane's first pitch of the inning. A ball. Yeah. Crane had a really nice ending to that first inning. Struck out a batter, had a nice pop out. And that ball gets down for a hit. Nolan Whelan now on first. Brings up Grady Bishop, the third baseman. Yeah, nice hit, nice line drive in, this, in the left field. Beautiful. Got a lot, got a lot on that. Just what you want to do, over the shortstop and in front of the left fielder. Gets down, gets him on base. Crane fires. Yeah, uh, going for the bunt, offered it, so it'll be a strike. Looking the for the sacrifice here. Crane with the 0 1, wheeling on first. Fouled off. Thought we might get pegs there, but we don't. That'll bring up an 0 2 count. Crane looking to. Strategically set up behind the fence here. Mr. That. Can't ask for much more than that. Fouled off once again. Chopped to third base side. Although our camera's up above the fence, you and I are not. <laughs> and for that, I am grateful. Crane. Out of play along the right field line. Bishop knocks. That's two fouls in a row now. He's really making Connor Crane work for this strikeout. Another really competitive at bat. The 0 2. Smacked, but a nice play there. Do they get two? And they do. Beautifully set up there from Dalto. And that brings it to two outs now. Bases are clear. Dalto to Wainwright to Ward. Yeah, that. I mean, you can't really ask for a, a better double play ball than that. You know, nice scoop out at first base on the low throw. Crane gets the foul from Aguilar. Just a great play there. All three guys, the whole infield really in sync. And then Luke Ward, the senior, to pick up that ball off the ground. You knew it was going to be a close play, but he went out aggressive, reached for it, turned two successfully. 0-2, oh two, two outs now. Good pitch by Crane there. Nice change up. Getting the batter way out in front. Yeah, that was a great job by Crane. Getting them in a tough situation for a double play. Fires a strike. And that will do it. Connor Crane, a very impressive second inning. Yeah, very nice job there. Double play obviously helped him out there. And after uh, one and a half, it's one nothing St. Mark's.
Coming up now, the center fielder, Ty Singoli. He's had a great start to the year. Made nice catch out in center earlier today. The 1-1 one -one to Singoli. Fired in there for a strike. Lee fires, and a ball smacked by Singoli. Right into center, Aguilar makes the grab, one out. Yeah, I mean, good news here is your, you know, arrows are getting the bat on the ball. A lot of times when you're facing these big time D1 commits, you get dominated and that's not happening. So that's a good sign, you know, still down one, it's early in the game. Uh, but they're getting, they're hitting the ball hard, so that's a good sign. Contact, contact, contact. That pitch now to Dorsey in for a strike. Lee starting to feel it here. And another one right in there, 0-2 now. The three strike punch out. Oslin Lee. That brings up the DH now, Justin Bork. You'll see him in the end zone in the fall. Now you see him at the plate. Bork hits a smacked ball, gets in the glove of De Silva. And that does the inning, one, two, three. Lions bats are up, up next. Coming up now for the Lions, the first baseman, Connor Moore. Crane with a nice pitch in for strike one, really showing off the velo there. The 0-1. Crane to Moore. Oh, two now, Crane has been white hot this last inning and a half here. You know, ever since. Yeah, really just that one base runner other than that, you know, I mean, a couple, couple tough plays, you had the overthrow at first and then overthrow at third to get the runner in. Other than that, he's been solid. Been solid and then just had another really solid, spectacular strikeout. Three pitches got down. More now coming up the second baseman, Hugo Owens. One out now. Top of the third. Gets another swing and a miss. Crane. 
Crane's been dealing. Will it continue? The 0 1. Smacked in. Dalto's right on it. Right in there to Ward for the first out. That brings it to two now on the inning. Yeah, nice job there. Nice and calm. You know, things are a lot easier on when you're playing on this turf. Balls come out, come up a lot cleaner. Sometimes you get a funky spin on a second hop, but nice play out at shortstop. Ball gets down for a hit. And Matt Capella once again reaches first. He's got two hits now on the day. And he's got the only run of our ball game so far. Yeah, nice job. You know, just outside the reach of third base into left field. We know before he's a threat to run, so got to keep an eye on him. It'll divert the attention of Crane, which was an impact last time. Max Dushney now, the catcher. With Capello on first, Crane looks and fires. That ball hit out to left, and it is caught for the third out by Keller, bringing up the Arrows bats. Bottom of the third coming up. Coming up now is the designated hitter, Justin Bork. Popped up and foul out of play. Lee looking to The 0-2, and he got him. Third strike low, Bork didn't like it. But Lee punches him out. And now that brings up the nine hitter, the shortstop, Matt Dalto. Had a really nice flip play to set up the two turn in the second. We'll see if that helps out his play on the bats. Guy laying off the high one there. Dalto there, he's got speed! And he got him. Dalto almost beat it out, but the throw there from Capello, yeah, nice, just too fast. Nice job there, going into the hole, digging it out, getting rid of it quick. Got him by a step, two down. Love the grit of Matt Daldo to continue to keep running. Just barely beat, just lost that. Almost yeah. beat that out. Popped up and 
foul. Ward now the first baseman. Gets his second crack at it today. Swinging strike there, Lee really bringing it. Yeah, it's really, really doing a nice job mixing up his pitches, keeping them off balance. You can see there, it wasn't a real clean swing. A nice eye there for ball T tough one. one. Tough one to take right there, but nice job. Two strikes. And punches him out, and that will do it. Oslin Lee, another great inning. And the top of the fourth, we will go. Coming up now for St. Mark's. Levy to Silva. Connor Crane. He's had a really nice game, stolen the mound for the arrows. Crane fires in a really nice first pitch. Gets him swinging there. one fouled hitting the backstop there oh two now crane looking for yet another punch out yeah he's been pretty efficient the last inning and you know last inning in two actually not a lot of pitches first inning he had a lot of pitches but much better the last two. He's had a really nice game for himself. Fired in and a good eye there. A little high. Taken in for ball one. <laughs> Fouled off another long AB Crane he's been firing the fastball today if we see if we'll go back to it kicks and deals high ball two there two two now De Silva's done a great job fighting back from that 0-2 hole. We'll see what happens next. And a ball put in and another really good take count all filled up. It was 0-2, now it's 3-2. Crane still looking for that strikeout. Struck him out. Yeah, nice and job. A, nice job there, going to the high high cheese right up, you know, around the letters. 
two strikes is hard to lay off of that one. Fighting through, had to go eight pitches there, but he gets the punch out. Now brings up Jeremiah Murphy. Strike one. Both these pitchers today, Crane and Lee, have been dealing. Strike two now. Crane the 0-2, and a good take there, ball one. The 1-2 one count, one out. The designated hitter, Whelan, on deck. Hits him. And a hit by pitch there, puts Murphy on first. Yeah, a tough one there with two strikes. Brings up Wheel in the DH. He's got a hit today, looking for his second. Murphy at first. Ball one. Crane the 01, another double play would be amazing. <laughs> what he's looking for. Fired in there for a strike, a really nice curveball. One out here, one on. One, one here. Crane checks up on the runner. But Murphy is right back and safe. One one, once again. Crane fires, runner goes. They're gonna. Murphy is safe at second. Strike two. Takes away the double play opportunity. A really smart steal by St. Mark's. Connor Crane. Fires. And a bouncing foul ball. Yeah, nice play. Gets out. Nice play by the first base uh, coach. One-handed, with the clipboard in his hand and everything. Crane now. Ball gets down to Barclay. He makes a nice throw over there to Ward. Two outs now. Yeah, they couldn't ask for anything better. A, a, a ground ball in front of the base runner really had no chance to advance. Barkley did a nice job lo looking back. Two outs now, man on second. Crane looking to get out of the inning, but Murphy's right there on second. Scoring position here. And a nice strike one there. Murphy extending his lead, maybe tipping his cap at running. And a high cheese ball cut on and missed. A cheese ball? <laughs> It's high, it's fast, and it's tough to swing at. <laughs> the high cheese ball, I like that. Going. Runner now gets through, but the glove of Dalto 
He is safe. Murphy comes home for St. Mark's. Yeah, now he's still up there at third, isn't he? Yeah, he didn't. Great play there at shortstop, keeping the runner from advancing. Bunn did not score. He did not score despite the... Yeah, it was a great play. I mean, had that gone through, he didn't get him at first, but still kept it. If that went into the outfield, run w definitely would have scored. Held him at third. So we got runners at first and third, two outs. Still one nothing. Crane here in a bit of a jam, but he's obviously skilled at getting himself out of those. The St. Sebastian's ace. Yeah, big point in this game right now. This, you know, I mean, you, you it wouldn't hurt to walk him, but at any point, you definitely don't want him getting hit. Foul back. The double play ball, always a possibility now with Bishop now on. Aguilar trying to deliver a hit. Really anything into the outfield gets you another run. Ball gets down, double play opportunity. Already, and that ends the inning. Already two outs, yeah, no. Good good job there, taking the easy out at second and they get out of it. At the end of three and a half, it's still one nothing St. Mark's. We'll be back. Welcome back. Bottom of the fourth here. Arrows, bats coming up. Down one. We've seen some great hits. We saw Wainwright with a triple and he comes up once again. High ball into center left field. It drops down for a hit. Waino gets his second of the day and gets right into scoring position. Yeah, nice job there. You know, as I mentioned, the, the what wind we have, it's blowing from the first base line out to left. And that definitely carried that ball a lot farther than the center fielder thought it was going to go. And it went over. Coming up now, the catcher, Brick Gallo. Looking to possibly deliver a ribby, giving the arrows their first run of the day. Yeah, huge here. You know, you at least want to get them over the third in any way that you can. So anything to the right side of the infield. Lee fires, chopping backwards and foul. Yeah, tough pitch there, it was ju just at the bottom of the zone. Like I said, trying to get the ball in play. You want to move the runner along any way you can. Hardly hit ball, that gets through. Wainwright stays at third, Gallo at first. And the arrows are clicking now. Yeah, in business, first and third, nobody out. Nice job. You know, he had to hold up at second base to make sure that that ball didn't get fielded, so he didn't get a great jump on it. Wise job to hold him at third. 
Brings up the cleanup hitter, Aiden Barclay, the senior. Our player to watch today in a big spot here. Two runners on base, one in scoring position. Strike one. Lee still continuing to fire it in. He's got fast stuff. He's also got, you know, we've seen that change up really effective today. Ball one. A low pitch there. Ties up the count. The 1-1 one, one now from Lee. Low pitch once again. Great eye here from Barkley. Really, you know, seeing it here, senior. Fourth year guy on the team. Barkley chops one just foul. The 2-2 two, two here. Lee, I assume he's thinking change up here. Good job. Good job laying off that. And a pitch controversial to the Lions dugout, but it is a ball. And that loads up the count. Barclay on the low pitch. Swings and just couldn't get under it. Yeah, nice pitch there. You know, again, two strikes on you. You gotta go after anything close. And that was a great pitch by Lee. Lee dropped it in. It's just really great work. That Here's a high foul ball by Ty Singoli. Once again, Lee, that was going perfectly straight and then drops. One out, runners at first and third. Wainwright with his second hit of the game. Singoli drives one through and that will give the Arrows their first run of the game and tie it up on RBI. Single for Singoli. Gallo up to second now. Two on, one out for the Arrows. Brings up Jack Dorsey now. And a high ball there. Ball one, just a bit too high. Only one out here. Arrow's definitely in business here. Outside, but in there for strike one. Lee sends the one one. Another pop foul out of play. Lee against Dorsey here, two on. A great take there for the second ball. Ayers been doing a great job working the count here, getting his pitch clock up. That's another high one. Pivotal pitch here, pivotal moment in this game. And another low one, and that brings up a three pitch walk. Loads them up. Good 
coach out to talk to Lee. I don't see anybody warming up, so I think he's just going to try to settle him down. That was an eight pitch at bat. Yeah, nice job. Ends in a walk. Bases loaded, only one out for the Arrows. This is a huge turning point in this game, obviously. The Arrows already scored one, but would obviously love to cash in on more. We've seen Crane really pitch well, Lee as well. But in this inning, the Arrows have definitely challenged them. Ball one now. Jack Keller looking to deliver in a big spot. Just fallow, he had that one. Yeah, in first at bat he had a nice drive to the outfield, so he'd be loving that if he could do that again. Kicks and fires. Oh, and he hit him. And that gives the Arrows the lead. Brett Gallo will walk on home. Keller stays in there, takes the hit by pitch. 2-1 lead, St. Sebastian's. Yeah, you know, that's the uh, RBI, the painful way, but you take that when the bases are loaded. And that brings up the designated hitter, Justin Bork. And uh, once again, another big spot. Bases are loaded, still one out. This guy has got power. Ball one. Strike in there, one one now. Singoli at third, Dorsey at second, Keller at first, Bork at the plate, two one arrows, the pitch. Just high. Justin Bork, always a great eye in the batter's box. Takes another pitch just a bit outside. Brings up 3-1. Lee fires. Strike and that loads up the count. Bork thought it was a bit inside. The full count pitch, Bork. Bork gets in there, safe. And that brings home Singoli and Justin Bork with a nice little chopper and a very hard run to get in there at first. 3-1 arrows lead. Yeah, nice job getting down the line. Justin Bork on the hit and run. Bases are still loaded, one out. Brings up Matt Dalto. He has been a defensive wizard today at short. And now his bat is gonna come in handy. Lee fires and a high pop up out of play. Dorsey at third, Keller at second, Bork at first. High ball foul, cannot make the grab right into the sun. You know, that almost, had he made that play with only one out, good chance the runner at third tags and scores. So, you, you know, you almost, obviously you want the out, but he had a long way to run and it would have been really tough for him to, Make a play at the plate. We'll see if Luke it Ward on deck. Dalto with the one two right now. Nice strike out there from Lee. A really nice bounce back. Fired in three really good pitches. The two fouled off. Wardo, Luke Ward comes back up. That was a 
fast pitch coming in right there. Gets him for a swinging strike. Lee with the pitch. Really good cutter there from Lee. Bases still loaded. Lee and Ward. And a ball beautifully hit down the line. One in to score already. And they bring home Bork. 5-1 Arrows lead. Luke Ward doing Luke Ward things. Yeah, I ripped it right up the middle. Two outs, everybody's running on the hit. Got a nice jump. Beat the throw to the plate. Two runs in. 5-1 Arrows. Kelleher and Bork flying in. Luke Ward picks up two RBIs, gets on first. First and second here. Gavin Wainwright, he's got two already. Got that first run that really electrified this inning. Wainwright now. The 0-1 from Lee. Ball one. Is Wainwright. Wainwright smacks one. Center field. That'll do it after after four. Big inning here for the Arrows. They played five. We go five one going to the fifth. Top of the fifth here at St. Sebastian School. Arrows with an electric five run fourth inning. They look to follow that up with a, another great defensive performance. Connor Crane once again from the bump. Fires and fouled off there by Moore. Connor Moore, he had a really nice single back in the second. Fires. And a really nice take there for ball one. Crane, the 1-1 one, one to Moore. And a ball, ball yeah, there. Outside, yeah. Crane once again here. And a nice pitch there. Got him swinging. Two 
two strikes here. Crane. Settling himself down, but make no mistake, he has been all gas today. Crane fires and a really nice third strike as Moore is retired. Yeah, the great, you know, Crane's been sitting for a while after a big inning, so you, you're always wondering how that it's gonna go, but he came out, showed you, he didn't lose anything resting that long. He was probably a good 20, 25 minutes between pitches. Fires now to Owens, and that ball popped up and foul. Brings it to 0-1. Crane switching out baseballs here. Top of the fifth, arrows took a 5-1 lead, one out. Fires and a high ball one. Wind picking up here a little bit in Needham. As I said, blowing from the first base line out to left field. Crane with the pitch to Owens, and he got him swinging there. The 2 2 here. Crane and Owens. And a night one line right in the glove of Barclay, who makes a great throw to Ward and gets him out. That battle has been something to watch today. We had an eight pitch AB between those two. Yeah, nice job by Barkley playing that. That ball was hit hard down the line there. And he played it smoothly, took his time, made a good throw to first, got him with plenty of time. Two outs now here in the top of the fifth. Brings up Chuck Capello. And he lines one just past Dalto. And Capello has his third hit of the game. He'll reach first once again. Yeah, he's had an outstanding game at leadoff there for the Lions. Three for three, hit the ball hard every time. And he's a threat on the base pass. Not to mention a great catch there in the third inning. Yeah. Having a conversation. Yeah, I know at this point right now, I think you're just telling Crane, don't worry about the runner as much as you have been. You got a nice four run lead. You got two outs. Focus on the batter. Then once again, the arrows bullpen, you know, really strong as well. Might be early season looking to save arms. We'll see what they do here. Yeah, I, I, don't, I haven't seen anybody warming up yet for the arrows. I don't know. They usually, with the red, with the red fence now up in, in left field, it's harder to see. Generally, they're out out behind the left field line there warming up, but it's hard to tell from here. Runner on first, two outs. Capello on first. Crane delivers a nice pitch there in for strike one. You know, with two outs, I don't really see him as a threat to run. You just don't want to end the inning with a throw it at second base, so you can focus on the batter. If the 0 wants, 1. If he wants to go, let him go. Capello always a threat to run. Just missed on that one. Crane brought the velo there. <laughs> oh, 2. Two outs. Crane looking to finish this half inning. A great. 
defensive stand from the Arrows. Crane fires, and a ball nicely hit fair by Dushney. Yeah, first, no, great job there hitting the ball. You know, second baseman was covering, and that's where he hit it. Good job there. I think that'll do it for Crane. Meeting on the mound here, first and third. Two outs, Actually, top of the fifth inning. I can't see who it is, but uh, you got someone going out to the bullpen right now for the Arrows. Like I said, I didn't think they had anybody warming up, so unless you're taking somebody from the field. Crane comes it. off after a spectacular five and two thirds innings here today. Finish with six strikeouts. Only one run let up. Now it's going to be Gallo pitching for the Arrows. Adana gets the spot behind the dish at catcher. Yeah, big spot here to come in and relieve. Two outs, two on. Just had a big inning. You don't want to let St. Mark's back into this one. Although the one thing is Gallo, you know, he's been in this game already. He, yeah. He's loose. He's warm. Whatever you want to call it. He's, ba he's battle tested. Exactly. You're not really bringing in someone cold. And then Adana, the ever-skilled catcher, he's always ready to come in and put on a show. Wainwright one and one here delivers one and one now Wainwright with a bouncing pitch yeah down to second goes the runner from first Two outs, two on. Gets the call. And a nice. Two, two now, two outs in the inning. Dushney at second, high ball three. That will load up our count, and that puts Gavin Wainwright in a big spot. Wainwright fires. And a nice chopper there, Luke Ward, right on tap. Three outs brings up the St. Seb's bats. 
yeah, when we come back. Yeah, nice job at the uh, at the end of four and a half. It's five one arrows. We'll be right back. Pitching now for the Lions is Jeremy Krendel. He comes to the mound in a big spot. With Brett Gallo coming up to the plate. Hard hit ball by Gallo, runs it out but the Lions are right on it. More with the play at first. One out. And Jeremy Krendel with a very smooth entrance to this game. Yeah, one pitch went out, you know, you like that. Crandall fires a low strike one. Crandall gets two now on Barclay. The third baseman, he's got a hit today, two RBIs really helped spark that fourth inning. One, two now, one out in the inning. Krendel deals. And a ball, two, two now. Barkley, when he gets on that ball, back up and start running. Oh. And a pitch in there. Look good. To but me. outside for ball three. Our angle looked good to me, but. Loads up the count. We'll trust Blue behind the plate. Three, two, one out. And got him swinging. A low change up. Gets Barclay there and Krendel two up, two down in this fifth inning of play. Krendel now to Singoli. Strike one. Right. 
Ty Singoli with a chopper. And the Lions with a great inning. Three up, three down. Jeremy Krendel enters beautifully. And as we go to the sixth inning, it's 5-1 arrows. We'll be right back. Wainwright, the pitch, in there for strike one. Wainwright's had a great game. Three hits now on the mound. One and one now. Jeremiah Murphy, the left fielder. Two one. Got it in there. Way to find the zone on a tough inside pitch. Chopper rolling and it does foul ball. Wayne Wright looking for the punch out pitch. Fires the 2-2. And inside for a ball, loads up the count. 3-2 here for Jeremiah Murphy. And takes the ball four and gets Murphy to first base. Coming up now is the DH, Nolan Whelan. He has his fingerprints all over this game today. Checks up on the runner. And a quick tag by Ward, not enough to get the speedy Murphy. Delivers. And a ball there. That was a close pickoff there. Almost had him. Wainwright fires. And a ball hit in the outfield. Caught by Keller for the first out of the inning. Murphy retreats to first. Coming up to plate, Brady Bishop. He takes an 0-1. Murphy extends his lead at first. And 
And a chopper there, Wainwright turning, he's got two. The shallow fly ball followed up by the double play ends the inning. Yeah, great play there by Wainwright. Got it up to second quickly. It was a close play at second and he barreled in, tried to take him out, but double play ends the inning. Go to the bottom of the six. It's still 5-1 arrows. We'll be right back. Welcome back here, bottom of the sixth inning. And St. Sebastian's will have another crack at it. Jack Dorsey lays off there. Ball one. And a pop, foul. And it is caught by Dushy the catcher. Nice job there getting that. Those are the, the ones straight above you. Those are the hardest ones. You know, you, you saw him kind of back up into the field and, and come into it. A lot of times spinning away from you. One Dorse, out here in the sixth. Dorsey retired, now up comes Jack Keller. It's gonna be tough. And he is safe. Keller's wheels beats out the tough pitch from Krendel. Yeah, I mean, third baseman playing back there, swinging bunt, don't have a lot of chance. The fact that he made it so close, I was surprised. Good play by third base there. But we got one on, one out here now for the Arrows, trying to do some more business here. Krendel fires in there on Bork for a strike. Bork, he had a really nice hit and run earlier in this game today. We'll see what he does here. Great pitch there from Krendel for strike two. Keller at first. One out off the pop up to the catcher. Krendel to Bork. And a hard pitch there, fires in for a strike. Yeah, you could tell that hole at bat that Bork did, wasn't seeing his ball that ball real well. Handcuffed on two of those three swings. Two outs now here for the Arrows, far on first. Dalto comes up here now. Strike one now. Krendel with the 0-1. Keller running a second. He is safe. The wheels of Jack Keller once again. Keller now in a scoring position. Krendel deals, Adalto, Keller running once again, ball escapes. 
Keller comes home for a sixth arrows run. No, that was strike three. Three hustle plays. That was strike three, inning over. <laughs> and all I, I was wondering why he threw it down, because it was two outs, two strikes. And the swing is strike and uh, throws it down. We all got excited. But that's the end of the sixth inning. We go to the top of the seventh. It's 5-1 arrows. We'll be right back. Top of the seventh here. Wainwright once again on the mound. Delivers and a nice hit there. Got him. Not the prettiest throw in the, in the world, but it's one out. One pitch, one out. Aguilar flying over to first, but just lost to the quick throw from Barclay. Wainwright to Moore. Delivers a first pitch strike. Another hard hit ball. Right on it. And turned over to Ward for the second out. And the Lions are down to their final out of the game. Brings up Hugo Owens, the second baseman. The 0 1 here. Wainwright fires in again. Ball two. The 0-2 count, Wainwright. He struck him out. And that is going to do it. The Arrows come back from behind and score five runs in the fourth to get the win over the St. Mark's Lions. Our player of the game with three hits and three scoreless innings, Gavin Wainwright. And what a performance today. Yeah, outstanding job coming in, not only offensively, but like you said, on the mound. Came in in that fifth inning, runs on first and third, and gets out of it. Outstanding job. And that'll do it here from uh, St. Sebastian's. We will be back on Saturday for a 3 o'clock game as the Arrows will take on the Thayer Tigers right back here. So we'll see you then. Have a great night.